What's up mga TV Natics? Welcome back to my channel and for our today's video, kasama ko po ngayon ng chairperson ng tapat loan program na si Attorney Diego Luis at sa pagkakataong ito makakausap natin siya patungkol doon sa mga questions ninyo regarding sa tapat loan program ng Pasig City. Hi sir! Hi! Hi! Good afternoon! Ha? Thank you for having me here sir! Hi! Sa mga viewers ng Kerr TV, more power po sa inyo! Yes po, at yun nga, uh, na-interview natin siya or may interview natin siya regarding dyan sa mga questions nyo kung paano yung pagpasa ng requirements, kung paano maka-approve lahat ng mga tanong nyo po dyan. At kung may mga katanungan pa kayo, just comment down below. Okay sir, uh, tanong ko lang po regarding dun sa tapat loan program ng Pasig City. Sir, my first uh, question po is, paano po nabuo yung proyektong ito? Okay, um, just want to say good afternoon. Thank you for allowing me to shed some light no, sa tapat program namin. Uh, yung tapat program came about because gusto ng city government na uh, bigyan ng pansin or to focus on those na affected negatively ng pandemic. Siyempre, alam po natin na yung ekonomiya namin took a big hit dahil sa, sa pandemic. Maraming uh, um, sumarang mga industriya. Bawal mga lumabas, marami rin po natanggalan po ng trabaho. So, um, under the, the leadership of Mayor Vico, we really came up with a program to give economic aid, an economic stimulus program to focus on certain individuals which were affected, uh, affected adversely by the pandemic. Ayan po. Okay sir, uh, doon naman po tayo sa question number two. Sino po yung mga pwedeng mag-avail ng program na ito or uh, in, in short, sino po yung pwedeng mag-loan dito sa tapat loan program po ng, na project ng Pasig City po? Sige, Sir Kurt, um, I'll start by mentioning mo yung tatlong loan programs namin. Okay po. Uh, we have the Balik Negosyo Program, we have the Bagong Negosyo Program, and we have the Balik Trabaho Program. Uh -huh. Yung target po ng tatlong loan programs na ito ay uh, first yung mga unemployed individuals or those na no work, no pay po ngayong uh, panahon natin. Yung isa naman po, uh, ito po yung sa um, balik negosyo, pwede naman po sa mga employed individuals naman, pero gusto pong gumawa ng sariling business or small micro business. Uh -huh. So yung target po talaga namin dito, um, yung mga unemployed, kasi pwede naman sila mag-apply for either the balik trabaho or yung um, bagong negosyo program. Uh -huh. Para sa balik trabaho po, yung loan amount is 5,000 pesos. Yung eligible dito, yung mga natanggalan ng trabaho, gagamitin yung loan amount para mag uh, bridge loan or para gamitin sa mga requirements para sa bagong hanap buhay. Uh -huh. Yung isa naman po, yung sa uh, bagong negosyo, ito po yung sa mga natanggalan po ng trabaho or no work, no pay na gustong gumawa ng own business. Usually, yung mga work from, gustong gumawa ng saliling work from home business. So, we're also encouraging them to uh, the entrepreneurial spirit by creating new businesses through our loans. Yun po yung sa, yun yung tatlong pwede mag-avail. Siyempre, hindi po um, eligible yung mga minors. Wala naman pong problema kapag senior citizen po kayo. Uh -huh. we, only, we only want na above 18 yung mga applicants. Bawal rin po mag-apply dito yung mga empleyado ng Pasig City kasi naman po um, our priority really is the um, those constituents which are not working within the city. Siyempre, kung nagtatrabaho kayo sa Pasig City, din man kayo unemployed. Ah, but okay. even for those who are employed, they cannot avail of our program also because the city government has a different kind or other types of loans for the for for our for our city employees. Sir, uh, additional lang po sa mga magtatayo ng bagong negosyo o kaya yung mga magbabalik negosyo, uh, applicable po ba siya doon sa may mga business na sari-sari store, kunwari nag-close lang, or gustong magtayo ng sari-sari store? Pwede kaya sila dito? Yes, um, actually marami sa mga applicants namin yung may already, meron ng existing business, no? Uh -huh. That's why we also crafted yung balik negosyo na, um, na loan program because uh, they may not be they may not be unemployed, they may still have their own business, but we also want them to be able to have additional capital para sa mga businesses nila. Uh -huh. Siyempre po sa mga loan programs namin, iba't iba yung requirements. Yung sa balik negosyo, even if the loan amount of 10,000 pesos is the same, 
yung requirement na kailangan ng pakita sa amin among others is their business registration. Uh-huh. So it can be TTI registration, barangay uh, barangay um, business uh, permit or a city permit. So kahit hindi sila unemployed per se, pwede naman sila mag-apply uh, for this kind of loan program. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sa question number 3 po, punta naman po tayo doon sa magkano po yung interest rate. Kasi di ba, kunwari ako, na-approve na po yung aking loan. Kunwari, ako, isa po ako sa nag-loan dyan. Magkano po yung interest rate na babayaran ng ating mga pasigenyo? Okay, um, just to start off, yung, uh, yung loan amount ng lahat will be the same, no? So for the bagong negosyo at yung uh, balik negosyo, 10,000 pesos yung loan. Uh-huh. Uh, no more, no less. For the balik trabaho, 5,000 pesos lang yung loan. Kasi talagang focus namin yung uh, yung mga uh, na-displace or for microfinance purposes. Uh-huh. Lahat ng loans namin, regardless of what program you apply for, lahat ito ay zero interest. Uh-huh. So wala naman siyang interest until papatong lang yung interest kapag di po nakabayad yung loan in time. Uh-huh. And medyo general, to be honest, a bit generous rin yung terms because we will only start the, um, the implementation of interest after two years. So basically, oh. may two years to pay pa naman yung mga loanies na So alimbawa, sir, yes. ngayon na-approve yung loan mo. Yes. So kailan ka pa pwedeng magbayad? You can pay, uh, you can start paying, let's say, after six months naman. We won't stop anyone from from paying earlier uh-huh. kung nag uh, kung nag uh, naging uh, successful yung business tapos you're able to earn enough to already pay we can of course accept the payment uh-huh. but for those na mahirapan or would need more time to pay you can pay it you can start paying after two years after naging uh, uh, nakuha nyo po yung loan sa amin uh-huh. so two years basically two years to pay siya kung hindi kayo nakabayad in two years dyan papatong yung 3% interest per month wala naman po tayong parang hinihingi na collateral if ever hindi sila Definite, makabayad na gano'n. Uh, definitely not. Um, you know, this program is not only for economic stimuli, uh, stimuli but to also try to help our pasigenyos talaga. That's why, while it's alone, we try to make the terms a little bit more, um, less less stringent naman. No? Um, wala naman collateral. The only requirement talaga is that... Uh, yung documents na binibigay sa amin, totoo sila, hindi naman sila yung, 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 yung peke or uh, yung, yung fake. And of course, we will endorse first for approval yung mga loan documents na kompleto. Uh-huh. Na nagbigay talaga ng sariling informasyon. Um, because, just to add rin, we want kasi all our uh, loan applicants to, to be more tech savvy also and to be more financially literate. So lahat po ng mga applicants namin, gumagawa sila ng online to online account through our passing access leap.com website na ginawa siya ng mga private partners namin yung Bridge C under sina David Bonifacio. So um, utilizing that platform, pwede nila lagay lahat ng information nila, lagay lahat i-upload lahat ng mga documents nila and those are enough in terms of the requirements. Syempre mm-hmm. Uh, bilang yung tapat committee, kami yung magre-review ng mga documents na yan. But once those documents are found to be um, complete and legitimate, endorse namin kaagad yun sa city hall namin for processing, for approval and processing. Kailan nga nagsimula ito, sir? Kailan pala in-implement po dito sa Pasig City? Kasi parang nakita ko, uh, kahapon kasi is Monday, so nakita ko ang dami ng applicants, di ba? Ang dami ng pila. So ang dami talagang mga pasigenyo natin na gusto magsimula ng bagong negosyo, magbalik negosyo, at saka magbalik trabaho. Hmm. So, anong oras po nag-ooperate yung career center dun sa GAD po? Sige, um, so just to add a little bit of background sa application process, meron kaming online applications and meron kaming on-site applications. Ano pong site yun, sir? Anong website po? Yung yun? website ito, um, HTTP dot dash pasig dot access leap one word dot com uh-huh. anyway naman uh, if you can't remember the website or hindi yun nakuha lahat naman ng mga uh, public information groups namin nakalagay naman dyan yung website uh-huh. um, that is really the primary means of application for us because number one very efficient yung website at yung platform magaling po talaga yung mga gumawa dito para tulungan po yung mga pasigenyos yung, yung bridge C um, and we're also, since pandemic na yun, we're also um, really advocating contactless transactions. Gusto namin na parang from the comforts of their house, 
as much as possible, pwede po mag-apply online. Uh -huh. But in the consideration rin po na not everybody is maybe as tech savvy, not everybody will have access to internet. Ay, Siyempre, ayaw na namin ma-discriminate yung mga wala talagang access. Gumawa naman kami ng on-site application. Uh -huh. Meron kaming on-site application sa My Career Center sa GAD Complex sa Pasig City Hall. Uh -huh. It is open naman from uh, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. from Monday to Friday. Uh -huh. uh, meron po dyan makakasagot ng mga tanong nyo. At the same time, meron po dyan makaka... Meron kami mga uh, a dedicated team of individuals who will make the online accounts for any applicants. Ayaw namin na just because hindi tech savvy yung tao, di sila maka-apply. But of course, since we want everyone to have an account, gumago, uh, pwede ka pumunta sa on-site para gawin rin ng tao namin yun para sa inyo yung account. Kukunin lahat ng information nyo, yung mga documents pwede na rin ibigay para ma-upload rin naman siya. It's as if you made the account yourself. Okay sir, um, ilang percent na po yung nag apply walk-in? Ilan na po yung, meron na po ba tayong average na kung ilan na yung walk-in na nag apply po dun sa God Center? Well, uh, right now, um, uh, mas marami talaga yung online because uh -huh. um, it's, it's, it's easier to do. Actually, you can just It's very mobile friendly, pwede uh -huh. naman sa sa computer niyo. So, the ratio from uh, online to on-site, medyo malaki talaga yung sa online. But for on-site, in fact, even before the formal launch, meron na mga pupunta dyan. We receive around 100 to uh, 200 people every day. Uh -huh. Sa walk-in yun, sir? Sa walk-in lang yan. Uh -huh. Actually, ang dami talaga. And I would understand because um, people are also curious about the loan. Uh -huh. Meron din naman mga pupunta na wala naman balak muna mag-apply, pero gusto lang magtanong. Uh, they are trying lang naman. They mga queries trying, lang naman. Trying. Trying. So, uh, medyo marami-rami rin. As of now, actually, it's been four days, including the uh -huh. weekend. We probably already have about 18,000 applications. Okay, sir. Um, so, syempre, even if it's uh, we don't discriminate, unahan talaga namin for endorsement, for approval, those na complete talaga yung documents. Sa mga na-approve naman, sir, ilan, ilan na po yan? Ilan na po ba yung mga na-approve na to be, mga applicants? Uh, to be fair, as of, as, at this early junction, wala pa kaming in-endorse for approval. Mm -hmm. um, gusto namin, uh, well, planchado naman yung process ng approval, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, if I may, some of the issues we face now is that there are different documents kasi submitted to prove, let's say, unemployment. There are different uh -huh. documents uh, submitted to prove uh, business certificate uh, registration. So talagang sinasala. Oh, and, to Pala. Be and to be honest, there are really some documents na talagang mas legitimate sila kaysa sa mga iba. Uh, For instance, okay. if I may mention it, a lot of, when it comes to unemployment, yung best proof talaga is the Uh, well, uh, labor lawyer in ako eh. So, uh -huh. I'm aware that unemployment is also, yung, yung best is really the certification from the from the dole. But since uh -huh. not everyone can submit that, we we're also we also allow in certification, any certification or clearance from the previous employer na unemployed. But in terms of the endorsement for approval, since limited rin yung budget natin and there are so many applicants, gusto sana namin i-prioritize yung mga um, talagang the official documents talaga to prove their status of unemployment or to prove their business. Uh -huh. Meron naman kasi mga nag-apply for the balik negosyo na nagsasabit ng business permit na legitimate as opposed to yung iba na kahit walang document, wala eh. So, since we have we, we have to consider the the variety of documentary requirements that sinas, sinasubmit, hindi pa kami muna kami nag uh, nag-endorse for approval. So, as of now, collecting applications pa lang kami. But, okay. But by within this week, we should start doing it. In we should start um, submitting for approval in batches. Just sa city hall namin. So, parang per batch yah, yung submit, yung submission. And yung batch na to, ito yung unahan sample yung mga may complete and legitimate documents. Okay po. And sir, uh, siguro last na no. Yes. Um, once na mag-submit na sila ng kanilang complete uh, documents, so ilang days naman or or paano malalaman ng isang applicants na approved po siya don sa loan program ninyo? You know, uh, if I may rin kasi, that's why we're also quite proud about yung online platform namin. Okay. It's very user-friendly also. Uh, if you have an account and you have documents there, you can use the account to just submit and resubmit documents. Pwede namin ka, uh, one view lang sa account niyo, and may kita niyo, uh, 
a message or a taker from RN saying na approved or disapproved na yung loan nyo. Uh -huh. Kung may problema sa loan application nyo, maglalagay kami ng comment na disapproved because missing document. So, malalaman ka agad ng tao ano yung status ng loan application. Ah, uh, okay. Kasi yes. diba dun sa last part, kasi may number sila, diba? Yes. So, uh -huh. pwede nilang i-review yes. yung account nila kung kayo ay kung sila ay approved or disapproved dun sa loan yes. application nila. In fact, the, uh, that is their account na. Uh -huh. They can uh, personalize the account. They can upload or re-upload documents rin, mm -hmm. magkita na namin on our, on our end kung may update from their accounts. Tapos the moment yung account nila is uh, reviewed, the documents are seen to be in order, pwede na sila ma-endorse kaagad in batches. Sa online application naman, attorney, um, meron ba kayong certain period lang na pwede nilang buksan yung site nyo? Kasi syempre, alimbawa, gusto nila, gabi sila magbukas kasi mas konti lang ang nagbubukas nito or Ano po ba doon? Definitely, uh, it Meron is... ba kayong pinaka, ano lang, o oh, hanggang 6pm lang nakabukas yung site natin? Wala namang ganun. Definitely not. Um, I guess the best way to see it is that your account is like your email. Uh -huh. You can access it at any time you have ah, access okay. to internet. Sa, sa inyo na yun. You can view it at any time of the day. Hindi na magsashutdown yung website um, based on a time or, or at night. Uh, what I mean, sir, is yung mga mag apply mm. Ano yung best time para i-open nila yung website nyo? No limit naman. Um, no limit you can okay, access it or just, it is 24 hours. Paano siyang website naman talaga? It's uh -huh. as if um, you can make, it's like you're making a Gmail account or an email account. Any time of the of the day pwede naman. But of course, this is for online application. Uh -huh. Kapag on-site, talagang 9 to, 9 to 4 lang talaga. Oo, oh, yun nga. So, isang mensahe po uh, para sa ating mga applicants na gusto pong mag-avail nitong inyong napakagandang programa po para sa ating pamilyang Pasigenyo. Uh, sige, um, you know, syempre, I want to start off with something na a bit of a... Kasi marami kaming, marami kaming nakakuha ngayon ng applicants na medyo uh, peke yung mga ibang documents. Um, we would suggest talaga na sa dami-dami namin i-review, -re um, please, uh, it's better if you make our lives easier also by trying your best to submit these documents. Siyempre, hindi naman kami pumipili eh. Kung pi lahat ng applications na complete naman yung documents, legitimate, kinu-forward naman namin for approval. Uh -huh. So, as much as possible, pag nag-apply na kayo, isubmit nyo na yung mga complete and correct information nyo. Um, as much as possible also, understand rin na limited rin yung budget namin dito. As much as we would want to help as many pasigenyos and Thank you talaga to the leadership of Mayor Vico from our Ritor Sangguniyan, uh, to our city administrators, si Attorney Manzanero, to our private partners for really allowing this endeavor to happen. No? Um, uh, it's a difficult process. Um, it took months of preparation. But uh, we're glad that we're able to help those which most need the help. Marami rin po kasi nung malapit sa amin, ah, um, employed naman siya, pero kulang yung yung sahod, and we have to really tell them na talagang yung loan program ito is really targeting talagang yung mga pinakanangangailangan. So yung suggestion ko po sa mga may balak mag-apply, even if they know na baka hindi sila pasok sa applications or sa application requirements, um, think rin about that uh, that there are those who might need the loan, the loan more. Um, with that said, we've uh, we were able to talk rin to mga, especially sa on-site, marami rin po kami nakakausap na uh, pasigenyos, pasigenyas na we're able to get to know their issues also, we're able to, uh, to, know, to know their stories, and it's been a pleasure rin. Alam mo, mahirap talaga, uh, mahirap talaga yung proseso. Uh, maraming sacrifices that came along with the formulation and the implementation of this program. Pero, when we're able to see rin that we're really able to help a lot of people, the city is able to help a lot of people, it really makes, it really means a lot to us. So we really thank the Pasig residents for their continued support. Thank you for this opportunity, Sir Kurt, talaga, for Hi, allowing you. us to uh, shed a little light rain on the program. Of course, uh, to everyone watching, if you have questions, concerns, you can, kahit sa website naman po mismo, meron po kaming uh, way dyan for you to contact us so we can answer your questions. Siyempre, si Mayor Vico, yung isa ng mga trusts niya, transparency rin. No? We don't want na kapag may mga tanong kayo, um, di na namin masasagot. Pwede rin kayo mag-email sa amin at tapat at pasigcity.gov. Kami po mismo sumasagot. Ako mismo sumasagot sa mga tanong nyo along with the rest of my team. So, 
please don't be shy to ask us for clarifications or questions. Kasi to the best of our ability, despite any of our other duties, we will do our best to really clarify any concerns. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you as well. Huh?